Eva Perón, First Lady of Argentina. Maria Eva Duarte de Perón, better known as just Eva Perón, born on the 7th of May, 1919. She was born in poverty in the rural village of Los Toros in the Pampas as the youngest of five children. Eva Perón spent her childhood in Junín, Buenos Aires province. Her father, Juan Duarte, 1872 to 1926, was descended from French Basque immigrants. Her mother, Juana Ibarguren, 9th of February, 1894, to the 11th of February, 1971, was descended from Spanish Basque immigrants. Juan Duarte, a wealthy rancher from nearby Chivilcoy, already had a wife and family there. At that time, in rural Argentina, it was not uncommon for a wealthy man to have multiple families. When Eva was a year old, Duarte returned permanently to his legal family, leaving Juana Ibargaren and her children in abject poverty. Ibargaren and her children were forced to move to the poorest area of Junín. Los Todos was a village in the dusty region of Las Pampas, with a reputation as a desolate place of abject poverty. To support herself and her children, Ibargaren sewed clothes for neighbors. The family was stigmatized by the abandonment of the father and by the illegitimate status of the children under Argentine law, and was consequently somewhat isolated. In her autobiography, she explained that all the people from her town who had been to the big cities described them as marvelous places where nothing was given but wealth. In 1934, at the age of 15, Eva escaped her poverty-stricken village when she ran off with a young musician to the nation's capital of Buenos Aires. The young couple's relationship ended almost as quickly as it had begun, but Eva remained in Buenos Aires. She began to pursue jobs on the stage and the radio, and she eventually became a film actress. She bleached her naturally black hair to blonde, a look she maintained for the rest of her life. Argentine actress, politician, activist, and philanthropist who served as First Lady of Argentina from June 1946 as the wife of Argentine President Juan Dominga Perón, 1895-1974. She met Colonel Juan Perón on the 22nd of January, 1944, during a charity event at the Luna Park Stadium to benefit the victims of an earthquake in San Juan, Argentina. The two were married the following year. Juan Perón was elected president of Argentina in June 1946. During the next six years, Eva Perón became powerful within the pro-Peronist trade unions, primarily for speaking on behalf of labor rights. She also ran the Ministries of Labor and Health, founded and ran the charitable Eva Perón Foundation, championed women's suffrage in Argentina, and founded and ran the nation's first large-scale female political party, the Female Peronist Party. Eva Perón has become a part of international popular culture, most famously as the subject of the musical Evita, 1976. Eva Perón has often been credited with gaining the right to vote for Argentine women, while Eva did make radio addresses in support of women's suffrage and also published articles in her Democracia newspaper asking male Peronists to support women's right to vote, ultimately, the ability to grant to women the right to vote was beyond Eva's powers. Eva Peron then created the Female Peronist Party, the first large female political party in the nation. By 1951, the party had 500,000 members and 3,600 headquarters across the country. Her impact on the political life of women was decisive. Thousands of previously apolitical women entered politics because of Eva Perón. In all of Latin America, only one other woman has aroused an emotion, devotion, and faith comparable to those awakened by the Virgin of Guadalupe. In many homes, the image of Avita is on the wall next to the Virgin. Perón died at 8.25 p.m. on Saturday, the 26th of July, 1952. Over three million people attended Avita's funeral in the streets of Buenos Aires. In a 1996 interview, Tomás Eloy Martínez referred to Eva Perón as the Cinderella of the tango and the sleeping beauty of Latin America.